Hello, this is Alistair for this vlog for What Pissed Me Off, episode 5. Yeah, today it is actual video game. So, which I'm putting this on my vlogging channel, even though it's video game related. But check out my video gaming channel, link up there at the end of this video. Yes, today is about GTA 5 Online. Now, um, you may know this, but it's not about the whole modding thing. That's been and gone now. You know, you know the whole thing where, if you don't know... Basically, um, basically, take 2K, who distributes um, Rockstar's video games, and basically banned Open4, which was a basically a mod look for mine, thing, a mod loader type dishes thingy. It's basically, if you want to have mods in GTA, you're going to need Open4. And the makers of Open4 have basically, you know, dumped every loophole in the book to get it within the Civil Code of Russia. And everything under the fucking sun to you know make sure it's legal. Yet they try to get rid of it because even though Open Four was a single player only mod, which the developers even made from my, from my understanding, you know, code into it, you know, um, make sure it wouldn't work in multiplayer. But they thought, oh, it's teasing the multiplayer mod, teasing the multiplayer. Oh, uh, even though it wasn't, but it doesn't have a multiplayer. But that's some, but it's something to do with the multiplayer, and. Probably the reason why I take two trying to do that was because it freshened their profits. We'll get onto that in a minute. But then Rockstar did stuff and say, yeah, yeah, this is a big bit of bullshit, we're going to keep the um, mods to continue. But I was. I, but let's go into my story. I recently got a uh, PlayStation Plus membership, which I'm sort of mad at myself I didn't get earlier because Until Dawn was free last month and it's not for anyone. But Assassin's Creed Far for Far Cry, um, Freedom. Freedom Cry, whatever it is, is free. So you know, I'm happy with that, and it looks and it looks a bit neat on PS4. To be honest with you, it looks a lot nicer than the 360 version. I give it that. Though I wasn't suspecting that, but that's on that. But so, but if you didn't know, um, if you get a PS Plus membership on PS4, you then get to be able to play multiplayer. And obviously, I've got a copy of GTA 5 for PS4, obviously, because I haven't got a computer that can run it. But, but. Um, I was playing the online and I got a one of those comic cards, you know, the 911 knockoff type videos. And I stole it. Obviously, it's GTA 5. And so I took it, took it to the Los Santos Customs. And a message popped up saying, This vehicle is too hot to modify. Purchase high end vehicles online. Now, I was a bit confused for a moment about this, but this thing didn't know me, I was more confused than anything else because in previous GTA games, like GTA San Andreas for example um, whenever you got like a police car or an emergency vehicle basically um, maybe you took it to like the paint spray which is what it was called back then um, it basically just said uh, this vehicle is too hot to modify I thought, alright so this obviously for my, my previous experience playing GTA games was just like Oh, it must be something to do with the police or something. Try and put it in your garage, you may fix it. So I went to my home, in the game, and tried to put it into my vehicle garage. And then this message popped up, and this message popped up then. This vehicle cannot be stored in your garage unless purchased online. Yes, it says that. Uh huh. Yeah. Now I have to look on the online store, which you'll see from this video here. Now, as you can see, I'm scrolling down, scrolling down, scrolling down, scrolling down, and at some point, uh, we reach the comet, which is a hundred thousand in-game dollars. Now, you may be thinking, oh, you do a bit of grinding, or. Oh. But it just so happens that GTA Online has microtransactions, and this is the thing that pissed me off. Now, if you don't know, I hate microtransactions with a passion. I think they are evil in games which you pay for. I understand them being there in things like Clash of Clans or Simpsons Tapped Out or something, because those are free-to-play apps. But the, um, the developer needs to make money, I understand that. I understand them being in free games, games that are free. I perfectly understand that. But I don't understand them in games which you have to pay for. Because, like, from my understanding, GTA V is, like, the third most best-selling game in the world or something. So, I don't think 
Rockstar or Take Two need any more money. But it's unfair, and this so happens, as you can see by the screenshots I have taken on my camera because I don't have a HD capture card, and um, the PS4 won't let you take screenshots in the menus. But yes, you can see there's many microtransactions. There just happens to be one for one ninety nine, one pound ninety nine, and that gives you a hundred thousand in-game dollars. So basically, this car is worth either two pounds. I know it's one ninety nine. I'm just going to say two pounds for the simplicity of things. So it's either worth two pounds or a few hours of grinding. Now I do play only really play online races. I will admit that. But you get my point. Alright? You get my point. It's just... You're going to spend several hours worth of grinding in game. Or pay £2. Now, um, Well... Yeah. I bet you if those microtransactions didn't exist, I wouldn't have that problem. Like, and I enjoy GTA Online, except for the dickhead to try to kill you every five minutes, and the dickhead to do the pitting maneuver on the races. Even though I do it myself. What was that? Nothing. Nothing. No. Yeah. You know. Fucking migrant is actually but GTA is a paid online game. It's a paid game. Now I understand servers are quite expensive to run, but still, because I was there from the beginning with GTA Online. Obviously, it was on the 360 version, and obviously, I got rid of my Xbox Live Gold membership. But I was there on day one with all those server errors up the wazoo. And obviously, because I missed the transfer window for the character, it's no longer that character's permanently lost now, unless I get my Xbox Live membership back. <sighs> Dr. McCall, I miss you. But, no, but in all seriousness, what the fuck? Like, seriously? GTA, the GTA series is considered a sandbox. Now, if you don't know what a sandbox is, a sandbox is pretty much you get to do what the fuck you want. And... Last time I checked, GTA was primarily about crime, and stealing cars is a crime. And guessing them, and one of the actual things you can do in the game is for Simeon, which you steal the car, get it resprayed, and send it off to him. Now, not only the selling it off, but you can go get your car and get it resprayed. I've ever been able to do that in every single GTA single player I've ever played, and that includes GTA 3, GTA Vice City, GTA San Andreas, GTA 4. And GTA 5 single player. But not apparently GTA Online. You know. Just... <sighs> Fuck you 2K. Because it... I don't think it will be Rockstar. Because from my point of view it seems like 2K is doing all this. Shoving it down Rockstar's throat. Because 2K were the ones who said mods can fuck off. Not Rockstar. Rockstar's... Rockstar wants you to stop 2K from doing it. It seems like this is 2K's decision. That they're forcing Rockstar's hand. Let's be honest for this vlogger. Goodbye.